As ground combat intensifies in Ukraine, attention is being focused on the value of tanks in ground warfare. As various countries plan for tank support, the U.S. Army's M1 Abrams has been highlighted as an unusual presence. While there has been little coverage of this in Japan, many overseas medias have focused on the advantages and disadvantages of its gas turbine engine and a lot of people have become aware of information about gas turbine vehicles. It seems that in Japan, the coverage was limited to saying that the fuel efficiency was poor, but overseas media provided more detailed coverage of the characteristics of the gas turbine engine, many of them mentioned that the tank was quiet. Except for those who have already visited the Turbo Train website, the fact that a gas turbine tank is quiet may be surprising. In Japan, the Kiha 391 was the only gas turbine train, and it is now a relic of the past, there is no opportunity to see a gas turbine vehicle actually running in Japan at present, it is known that the decision to abandon the practical use of the Kiha 391 was due to various factors, including poor gas mileage and high noise levels. Prior to the Kiha 391, there were some tests conducted using the Kiha 07. The detailed noise measurement data was not found but there is a brief report that was published in a magazine, which stated that during full throttle at 7 notches and during startup, the noise level of the car was in the 90 decibel range, reporters did not describe the noise as being intense. Some even said that it was just enough to tickle their ears, and that the diesel engine used for the electric power supply was even noisier. Interviews with residents along the railway also indicated that the noise was not much different from that of previous trains. In the first test run, the engine was mounted under the floor, with the air intake located relatively close to the engine on the side of the car body, while the exhaust was on the roof, far away from the engine. It's possible that having these components farther away from the engine reduced the amount of noise emitted to the outside. However, in the second test run, the engine was mounted on the floor, similar to the Kiha 391. At this time, according to the abbreviated report, the noise was reduced to the 80 decibel range, and it was noted that the mounting of the engine on the floor had an effect in reducing it, however, by this time, the interest of the media had already waned, and there were no longer any articles about it, so the general public's impression is unknown. Some documents from the time indicate that the noise was equivalent to that of conventional trains, however, when the testing of the Kiha 391 began, high noise levels suddenly became a focus of concern. At the time, there was also some coverage of flashy vehicles such as the conventional Super Express tilting train, so there was some coverage of the issue. During noise measurements on the Sanayo main line, trains such as electric trains, diesel trains, and passenger car trains were also measured for comparison, the measurements showed that at a distance of 7.5 meters, all trains had a high level of noise that was proportional to their speed. For the Kiha 391, the difference in noise levels between acceleration and cruising was minimal, indicating that the engine noise was not the primary source of noise. During high-speed running, the Kiha 391 was found to be slightly quieter than other trains. However, the situation changed during startup at 6 or 7 notches. At 7 notches, the noise level reached 107 decibels, and even at 6 notches during tunnel operations, it reached 120 decibels. In tunnels, the noise from the exhaust outlet reflects off the tunnel ceiling, which amplifies the noise. It is indeed curious that the phenomenon was not mentioned during the Kiha 0-7 tests. What is the difference in noise level between the Kiha 391 and the M1 tank, and where does it come from? Even with tanks, it is better to have the engine take up as little space as possible, and the M1 tank does not have a particularly large muffler. When comparing the two vehicles, it is clear that the space occupied by the engine components is compact for both vehicles. Kiha 391, which has a smaller output than the M1 tank, takes up more space, but this is because it is co-located with a diesel generator for the power supply. What about the muffler for the M1 tank? In Kiha 391, large mufflers are installed on both the intake and exhaust sides of the engine. However, they cannot be seen on the M1 tank, 
the exhaust comes out from the rear of the turret, where a grid-like device can be seen, this is a device to lower the exhaust temperature to cope with infrared-guided missiles. The exhaust gas and outside air are stirred inside to lower the temperature before being discharged. The filters and silencer on the intake side seem to be located in the body at the rear of the turret, but is there an exhaust muffler? Actually, a very small exhaust muffler is in the same condition as the one attached to the engine itself. Its original purpose is to reduce fuel consumption, it is called a heat exchanger or a recuperator, and it recovers the energy of the exhaust gas, heats the air before it mixes with the fuel, and reduces fuel consumption by 40%. Its structure is similar to that of a car radiator, in which the air that is compressed and sent to the combustion chamber flows through the part where the water flows and the outer cooling fins are heated by the exhaust gas. As a result, fuel consumption is reduced by 40%, and the consumption during idle is almost half, despite the output being nearly 1.5 times that of Kiha 391. This heat exchanger reduces vibration in the air as it passes through the large cavity, making it effective in reducing noise. The noise of a gas turbine is mostly composed of high-frequency components, except for what comes out of the combustion chamber, and it is considerably attenuated as it passes through the heat exchanger on both the intake and exhaust sides. So, how was the noise issue during startup resolved? As mentioned in other videos of the Kiha 391, the occurrence of entering full throttle while the output shaft of the gas turbine is in a stopped state was prevented. Since it is a tank, Quick and agile acceleration and deceleration are required for avoiding enemy fire, even at low speeds. Therefore, the M1 tank has a four-speed gearbox on the forward side, and the gearbox is equipped with a hydraulic converter shared with diesel tanks. Since there is a four-speed gear shifting mechanism, a powerful low-speed torque increase function is not necessary for the hydraulic converter, and a single-stage three-element type, such as the Kiha 181, is installed. To achieve high output in a small size, diesel engines for tanks have no choice but to be of high boost type, which results in poor low-speed torque even for diesel engines. To overcome this disadvantage, a hydraulic converter is essential for diesel engines, but gas turbines do not have this problem. The M1 tank, which is a gas turbine vehicle, achieved unexpectedly low noise levels thanks to its heat exchanger and transmission, and it was given the nickname, Whispering Death, by German soldiers during World War II, who named it after the Hawker Typhoon fighter plane of the British Royal Air Force that approached silently. The driver at the time stated that they were mindful of the notches when driving at night to transport the Kiha 391 under its own power from Okayama to Yonaga, considering the residents along the way. While there were significant differences in the background, there was a clear gap in the level of completion between two gas turbine vehicles developed at the same time and running on the same ground. 